One of the industries that has been significantly impacted by the pandemic is the event industry. There is no doubt to that. And I don't even think that it's ever going to go back to how it used to be, even after the pandemic is over or we are back to a new normal. But it's not all that bad because I think there is a huge advantage to what has happened. And that is that these huge events that were you know, being held in different countries all around the world that were sometimes very far away from us are now all moving to virtual spaces, which makes everything much more available and accessible financially and otherwise as well to everyone around the world. I think this is a huge opportunity. How we can just join in from the comfort of our home. If we have Wi-Fi, if we have a laptop, that is basically enough. So uh, this video is not going to be about my opinions about the event industry, but I'm going to share with you my favorite event in the marketing industry, uh, the, the favorite professional event that I like to attend each year. Even if I'm not able to attend, I still make sure to follow along with the content and just check out the agenda, check out the speakers and breakout sessions and so on. So the event that I want to share with you today is Inbound that's organized by my favorite company in the whole world which is HubSpot and I had the opportunity to attend Inbound in 2017 in person in Boston so normally this event is a huge one it's an amazing experience and it's held in Boston so uh, the thing was that if you're not able to go to Boston if you weren't able to purchase the tickets to go to Boston to arrange your accommodation arrange your flight so on it was pretty difficult uh, I mean there was to be honest, there was no way to be there and you could just follow along with the content on YouTube or Twitter or other social media. But it is really not the same uh, experience as being in that atmosphere. So I, when I attended in 2017, I loved the vibe. I loved the energy. It was, it was really, truly inspirational and I really uh, took away so many lessons and actions from the event. But again, I'm not going to talk about the 2017 event. The main purpose of this video specifically is that the countdown for 2020 event has started and I have great news for you. So I want to cover what is going to happen in this year's experience and I want to take you through that by sharing my screen. We'll just uh, skip to Inbound's website with you and we'll go through the speakers, we'll go through what the agenda looks like this year and stick till the end because I do have a surprise for you. I think you will like to hear about this experience and what you can really take away from this year's Inbound experience. Okay, let's take a look at Inbound's website together. Let's take a look at the experience, how they uh, change it this year. Let's look at the agenda, speakers, and how you can purchase the tickets and begin your countdown to this amazing event of the year. You are able to select two experiences this year. One is the starter pass, which is free basically, and you just have to register, you don't have to pay anything, and it gives you limited access to inbound digital experience, no cost, register to free. So let's maybe check that one out first. So there's a comparison table on this page, which is comparing it to the second option that you could get, which is called the powerhouse pass this year. So right now it's at $69, but I know that it's going to increase uh, to the next level, which will be like $89 and then $119 when we are closer to the date of the event. Even when you are uh, close to the date of the event, it's still not a big deal in my opinion, because normally these events, normally, I don't remember the old price of the inbound tickets. I mean, in the previous years when it was a physical event, but it was much, much more than this one. So this is really just a fraction of uh, a regular event ticket price. All right, so let's go back and let's look at how the experience is and what the agenda looks like at the moment. Here we can learn more about how the content is designed for this year's digital experience. We already know it's gonna be different from the past years, obviously. Time zone based sessions, audio only sessions, you know, if you just need a break from watching something. Okay, speaker office hours, one-to-one -one mentorship, that's amazing. Um, yeah, so the experience is designed to address multiple styles of learning, which is actually really pretty good because I know that not everyone was actually very comfortable with physical events or um, when it's a virtual experience, some, some people may not feel that good with just watching 
videos for hours and hours. So you get to have these different options for uh, your learning experience, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. so, so here are some of the spotlight speakers that we'll be hearing from this year. It's really a strong, amazing list. So I'm just going to scroll down a little bit slowly and two more speakers uh, coming soon, which is also exciting. I'm curious to know who they are. But the list as it is, it is already pretty impressive. There are already 250 plus breakout sessions and I see that they're divided into these four categories. Okay, so let's take a look at the agenda again. There will be two days, two full days of speaking sessions. So this is the agenda and you can kind of go ahead and do like favorites to whatever you want and you can add those to your my interest category and start to build your agenda already if you wanted to. So you can take a look at where people are coming from or where people will be attending this event this year. Uh, you can go ahead, follow them on the social media channels and engage with the inbound team already and also look at you know who else is attending because you'll see it from who is engaging with the content you will definitely leave this experience with a lot of takeaways and a lot of learnings if you're gonna attend one event this year i think you could definitely make it this one and just looking at the price of the tickets i mean it's really feasible really affordable so i would just go for it to be honest and as I promised in the beginning, I do have a surprise for you. So if you go ahead and use the link that I have for you in the comments below, then you will get um, a $5 discount off the $69 and the $89, which is the next category of tickets. Uh, you'll get $5 off of your uh, purchase and the discount will be applied at the checkout. So you don't really have to do anything. You don't have to enter any codes. And... If you are a little bit late to purchasing your ticket and if it is and if it is already at $119, then you'll get a $10 discount in that case. Uh, again, using the same exact link, you don't have to enter any codes, it will just be applied at checkout. And if you do get it, let me know, share on your social media and tag me as well so I get to know that you are attending and I really look forward to seeing you there. Take care guys, see ya.